Well, here we are. I went a bit ahead. <laughs> um, we caught some encounters and whatnot. I don't think I have any of them with me currently. Um, but our plan for Volkner is to mud bomb the hell out of everything. Oh, shit. And uh, hopefully once certain Pokemon are out, um, we swap over to the rock. And we finish everything with the rock, even with the rock being slower. I'm pretty sure I got this set. So why don't we go ahead and just go with it and see how things go. It has been a while since I played. The last episode it was pretty rough. We're still dealing with things, so hopefully we get it cleared up soon. I would hope. No guarantee, but I'm hoping. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's see. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure if I did the math right, I can kill it in two hits with both Mud Bomb or Surf, but I'm gonna hit it with Mud Bomb first. Iron Tail's not going to do much, it's fine, so we're good. Y you know what? Okay, I see how it is. I'm going to start missing already. That is not good. Yeah. Nice. See, and that's another thing. We have, we don't have leftovers, we have Shell Bell, so... As long as we just keep damaging, we keep healing. He missed. Beautiful. And we're just gonna keep slugging in as long as we keep, as long as I feel we need to. But where things will get a little dicey, I think, is when the Raichu comes out. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm a little worried about the Focus Blast. But Sligu does have quite a bit more special defense, so I think Sligu will be fine. Oh, my shoulder. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not gonna kill, but it'll do a lot, so we're fine. We'll just hit it with Surf again. So, if Looks Ray comes out, we should be fine to stay in. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't think I need to swap out to Gollum just yet. Or, uh, The Rock. The Rock. I think we're good for a little bit longer. Oh, actually, nope, we have to swap. So, the thing is here... It can't hit me with, uh, what are, what are its moves again? It has... Oh, excuse me. So it could hit me with Fire Punch, but I don't think it will since we're water. It can't hit me with Thunder Punch, so it's gonna either Giga Impact or Quick Attack. If it Giga Impacts, we're perfectly fine. If it Quick Attacks, we're perfectly fine. Fire Punch may do a little bit more, but we're still super defensive. Oh, that'll do nothing. We're fine. Now, even if it Giga Impacts, it's not going to do a lot. And we Quick Claw, we One Shot. I did the math. I'm fairly certain it's going to One Shot. Well, I didn't do the math. I used a calculator, but still. It should One Shot. A baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's actually super hype. I went, I was, I, when I first saw this, I was very concerned. I thought I may have to explode, but after I saw it, because I was like, oh, the golem can do it, but it's so slow. So I thought I may have to explode, but no. Ice Fang will hurt a little bit. But it's not stab and super defensive. Cake walk. Uh, boom. All eight badges, baby. 
So, I don't know how I'm going to do this, though. Um, oh, I do still have a few captures I can go for. Cantaloupe City. What's in Cantaloupe City? A star you? Eh, I don't want a star you. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have, I guess. Um, uh, excuse me. Beacon badge. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, and I can't change my... Because I'm using a, a tracker. I can't actually set Send Off Springs Pokemon. Because I know I caught Dusclops there. Um, but for some reason they don't have it that you can catch Dusclops there. Which is weird. Because that's definitely where I caught my Dusclops. Oh, what TM is this? Oh, Charge Beam? Ooh, is that any better than what Polarity has? I mean, it, it has Discharge, that's the thing, right? Oh, why not have Thunderbolt too? Is Charge Beam better than Thunderbolt? I doubt it, right? Oh yeah, holy cow. Thunderbolt's way better, what the fuck? Alright, we're just out. Beautiful. Oh my god, man. Talk about stressful. Not really, but everything else leading up to this was stressful. Nice. Oh, I gotta remember where to go. That's the thing. Let me at least heal real quick. Um, I don't want to take Gollum over this next um, route, like, at all, since it's water type stuff. I mean, I guess I could just leave Gollum in the party. Well, no. Because I do need to... I do need to... Uh... Oh, oops. I do need to do this, and I need to put Bavarel in the team real quick, because it's the only way I can really move around on the water. Well, I mean, I could always teach, but... Alright, so real quick. Uh, we'll leave Lucario in, actually. So, after we beat the Giratina, I went ahead and went through the route. We have an Electivire. Um, pretty good, overall. Did some EV training, all that stuff. Pretty fucking good. So, um, I don't know. I don't think we'll be trading out... Um, I don't think we'll be trading out uh, Polarity for him, but it's still an option. And there's the dust cloths I was talking about, and the cave. I think I caught this before I ended the episode. I don't remember, but uh, not a bad one to have. It has pressure as well, so um, I would probably just need to uh, teach it new moves, because <laughs> uh, doesn't have the greatest stats overall. But, no. Um, this sickle. Sickle is probably one I'm going to train up for the Elite Four. Because I feel like sickle may be my answer to the Garchomp. In all honesty. It really depends on how I EV train it. Because if I can get the speed up higher than that Garchomp, I think... If I can maybe set up with it, because the plan is we'll have, uh, I'm going to keep it as a Sneasel until I think 49 it learns Icicle Crash or something, which is like the only physical ice move it can learn. And then when it learns it, I'm going to evolve it to Weavile. 
and then from there, I mean, we're level 50 plus, I think we get uh, one other thing. Like, the plan would be we have Night Slash we have for Dark-type move, we have Icicle Crash, I would teach it Swords Dance, I think. And then I can't remember what the other move was, in all honesty. Um, I had it planned out, but Weavile is very possibly going to be on the team. I may trade Gastrodon out for Finnan. Because if I recall correctly, Wishcash learns Dragon Dance. I could be wrong on that. But if I recall correctly, Wishcash does learn Dragon Dance. And that could be huge. Um, I have it, but I don't want to use it. <laughs> the Blissey from before. All of our faints here are unfortunate faints. Um, oh, I do have, I do have this. If I evolved that to Gengar, it could be pretty strong. I could actually be very strong considering it has Levitate as well. Something to consider, yeah. Maybe take this instead of the Dusclops. Teach it Shadow Ball. Um, I'd have to look at the rest of the moveset. I'm considering bumping up Timber as well. I'm more than likely gonna... It depends, but I'm more than likely gonna take Togekiss. Um, I just haven't done anything with it since because I have to level it up and teach it moves and whatnot. Um, so yeah. The E4 team is looking like it will be Gyarados, Togekiss, Sneasel, or well, Weavile, uh, Polarity, Well, let me think for a second, because Houndoom is staying, Gyarados is probably staying, and Polarity is staying, so that leaves 30 spots. Um, we'll probably take Sickle. Um, we'll probably take Togekiss, just because Togekiss is a fairly good Pokemon, in all honesty. Um... So maybe we'll either take Gwyn or we might take Too Spooky. I haven't decided yet. And then it's either going to be Sligu or Finnan. I just haven't decided on that. I'm fairly certain Finnan will learns Earthquake or already knows Earthquake. Um, and I'm fairly certain it learns Dragon Dance as well. So if it does learn Dragon Dance, then very likely, because Dragon Dance is just too good to pass up, you know? The only downside is it has Anticipation. Um, if I can get Air Slash on this thing, there's our Flying type. I mean, I can probably teach it Fly if I really need to, but... I'm thinking I might keep Encore. Maybe teach it Protect. Maybe teach it Toxic, and then, like, Air Slash. If I don't keep Encore, maybe it, maybe give it, like, a Zen Headbutt or something. Iron Head? I mean, it does have Serene Grace, so... Very possible. The only downside is it's super slow, and it's not really a physical attacker, so... It might be Air Slash over... Uh, the other. So I haven't fully decided on that one. Because the biggest problem is I have no flying type. And uh, this Elite Four, I don't think I need a flying type, really. Because um, Aaron's just going to get decimated by Houndoom. There's, like, no question in my mind. Uh, Bertha. I don't really have a good grass type for Bertha. I do have water type for Bertha, though, so... The only one that might be a little annoying is um, the Wish Cash or the Gliscor. Um, for Flint, I mean, fire type. So I'm just going to Gyarados my way through that. 
Lucian is psychic, so that's again Houndoom. Or Sneasel. And Sneasel should just be able to just trash this team. Sneasel should outspeed everything except maybe the Alakazam. Mm, and the Alakazam has Focus Blast. That's dirty. Okay. Um, but Cynthia's team is what I'm really worried about. That's what you should always be worried about with Platinum, is Cynthia's team. Nothing else should matter. Oh, I do have Roselia. But do I really want to use my uh, a Dawnstone on? Oh, it does have Poison Point too, so we have that going for it. I could always, I could always do it and just go full special attack into it, like special attack and speed or special attack and health. Like it's not going to be the fastest, obviously, but I mean it. It wouldn't hurt to have it. Just having the extra Grass type, oh, Grass Poison. That's good moves to teach it though. I mean, Giga Drain. I have Stun Spore on it as well. We we'll probably get rid of Leech Seed. Oh, we could teach it Grass Knot actually. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. Okay. See, another thing I was thinking was I could take a Swine Up or Swin Up and uh, get it all the way to Mammoth Swine. Like, teach it Ancient Power, all that shit. The only thing is, there's no way that thing's going to outspeed Garchomp. Like, there's no fucking way. Even if I taught it the priority ice move, like, there's no way it outspeeds Garchomp. Garchomp just kills it with Earthquake. So, there's no reason to even, like, think of that, I think. I'm going to do a lot of stuff, uh, or I'm going to do a lot of math and whatnot before I actually go into the Elite Four. And... I will say, I am debating on recording it or streaming it. Part of me kind of wants to stream it, just to see if uh, people would want to see it, you know? Um, if you want me to stream it, maybe leave a comment. This will be one of the only times I ever really let I say that, but like, who knows going forward. but. I would say this is probably, this is the only time I've ever said that through this entire playthrough. Like, if you want to see me stream it, leave a comment instead, like, like the video, leave a comment, and be like, hey, you should stream it instead of just recording it. We'd love to see it live, you know? Because I'd, I'd be down to stream it. I could stream it on my Twitch. I could stream it on YouTube. Either works for me. And if y'all want to see that, hey, I mean, I think that all works out, you know? Uh, waterfall. Thank goodness. Finally. Uh, we have Aqua Tail now. Um, but do we... Do we forget Aqua Tail for Waterfall? Maybe... Not rock climb, waterfall. Waterfall is 80 power. I think. I think Aqua Tail's 90, right? Or I think Aqua Tail is 90. Yeah, but it's 90 accuracy as well. So it may be more worth to teach water. And waterfall, I'm pretty sure you can cause flinches, right? Wait, is Waterfall a priority move? There's no way. Hang on. Twenty percent chance to flinch, and. Uh... There's no way, especially the way that's worded. Um, Gen 4, yeah, I knew it had a chance to flinch, but there's no way that's priority, right?
Ooh, that's something we could do is get... Oh, no, we, if we bring Togekiss, that's who we would want to put King's Rock on because of Serene Grace. If we don't bring Togekiss, though, we put it on Long Gal. Yeah, and we definitely do want to get rid of Aquatel here, I think. Because we want to keep these for coverage, definitely. Oh, well, actually, do I? I don't really need Bite, honestly. Like, I'm not using Bite on things. And in the end, I could use... If I really needed to, I can use Gyarados and Ice Fang on uh, Garchomp as well. So, yeah. I'm not really biting anything. So, let's, let's get rid of Bite. And we do have Dragon Dance on Gyarados, so there's that. <clears throat> so, this way we keep Aqua Tail as well. That way, if we need it, we have a bit high priority move as well. Or not high priority, sorry. We have a bit more of a power move as well. But I think I would always go for, uh... I think I would always go for... Um... Uh, one or over the other. Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, I mean, I do get an encounter, so... No, I don't, because I already have Wingle. I did a lot of talking about just random shit. I was really thinking. Oh, we're super slow, that's right. Okay, um... I don't think there's anything on these routes that I would want, right? Like... What are the odds I run into something I don't have? Well, actually, Whalmer and Whale Lord. That would definitely be something I would want, I think. 223. That's the route I'm on right now. Tentacruel. Okay. We're faster than Tentacruel, right? If not, it's fine, but... I mean, if anything, Whalmer Whale Lord would be what we want to run into here. I have to fight this guy. The only thing is, I don't know if, uh... If I can, uh, mine's going blank. I don't know if I can run into Whalmer or Whale Lord just surfing. I don't. I may have to fish them up. I don't know. Thunder would be the only thing that would. That's fine. We're pretty defensive, so. Yeah, I think Thunder can hit if it bounces or flies, but I guess Thunderbolt can't. <clears throat> Excuse me. That or it has to be raining for that to happen, I don't know. It's, a, it's kind of the same effect, like if you dig and they use Earthquake. Or dive and surf. Tentacruel. Mm. Eh, fuck it. Poison jab doesn't affect. You suck, nerd. Ah, uh, there's a double battle right here that I have to take part in. Yeah. I 
me heal. Oh boy. Probably just use the max restore. Oh, this one is nice, I'm at 30 health. Okay. Um, I mean, I could leave Chuck up front, but we're gonna switch to Sligu and just do it that way. Because that lets me, uh, it lets me, <coughs> excuse me, discharge. And I can use like Mud Bomb or uh, Body Slam. I know I could brine too, I guess. But I don't see myself like not killing any of these things. And Sligu, I'm pretty sure has Storm Drain, so. It should draw in any water moves. So our cap for the Elite Four is 62. We definitely don't want to set our Pokemon at level 62 though, because if we do that, we will definitely overlevel. Artillery, okay. And Golduck. I don't think either of these will survive either. But... I mean, even with a Screech, we're fine. Our mag Magnezone is super bulky, so... Yes, we expect Pelipper dies to one discharge and Wingle again dies to one discharge. Ooh, aerial waves, alright. I mean, we're fine, but that would be another move we could teach the Toki Kiss as aerial waves, because it it can flinch too. Pretty sure Aerial Ace can. I could be wrong on that one. I might be, I might be mixing that up with another move. I want to say there is a flying type move that can flinch like that, though. I mean, honestly, do I need it, though? Like, Whale Lord is literally just like a health sponge, in all honesty. That's basically all it is. Ooh, that was close. <clears throat> wow. I never realized the level disparity when you're just swimming. That is wild. Oh, do I have to fight that dude? No way. Okay, now I can go around. Thank goodness. I don't deal with that. Oh, I might not even have to fight her if she's spinning like that. 
I mean, it's very possible that I still do, but. Oh, that's lucky. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I figured she might turn the moment I moved up. Because some of them definitely do that. God damn it. I keep, like, tapping in directions. Ah, oh, shit. That's unfortunate. Water flying. Or, this one's water, I think, but Mantine is water flying, I believe. I guess I'll go ahead and mark that. Mantike. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll just quick ball it. Fuck it. Really? I'm faster than that thing? What? That I didn't expect. Okay, shit. Um, whatever. Get it out of my face. <laughs> Please. You gotta be fun, Kenny. I'm losing my patience. I'm gonna kill it. Actually, no, fuck it. I'm running. I don't care. I wanted the Whalmer, if anything, because at least then I'd have, like, a bulky Pokemon. But I think Whalmer is pure water? I could be wrong? Oh my fucking god, really? Two steps? I'm looking at the mic right now. You can't hear me. Well, you can't hear me looking at it. But I'm looking at the mic right now. In annoyance. I know it's not the super ones, but get me out of here. <laughs> oh, of course I was this close to. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Alright. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh man, okay. Just a moment. That can't be real, right? What? I'm sorry, there's no way Barry's team is that weak. So I need to bring the barrel. Um, because, I mean, obviously, strength, surf, all that. Well, I mean, I use surf for uh, with a uh, gastrodon, so. Okay. Now 
Now, I know the odds that we encounter a Gabite are very low. Uh, do I have a Razor Claw? I think I do. Um, I don't have anything. We do this. That way we at least have like a tanky Pokemon as well. Or like a physically... Well, I mean, I have him. But I kind of want another tanky one. As a just in case. Like another thing I can swap into. Okay, so I definitely want to pick up the Dark Pulse TM. That I know for a fact. Because if I don't pick that up, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Well, not a pain in the ass, but I want it because, obviously, I want to put Dark Pulse on Houndoom. That's something else I could do. Instead of Roserade, I could do uh, Letheon. And that would cover my Grass-type weakness. Well, not weakness, but do I need a Grass-type, though? Maybe. What can that Wish Cash really do against me? Let's be honest. Um, not much, I think. Let's go ahead and save here. Um, hmm. Yeah, is there really much I need to worry about there? Sorry, my knee was like itching like crazy. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Victory Road. I think the bigger problem here is I have like no memory of Victory Road. So, whoops. I definitely don't want polarity in the front. I think I put Gyarados in the front, just because Gyarados would be fast. Oh yeah, do I do I have a Razor Claw? I have a Razor Fang. I do. Perfect. Cool. That's what I was wondering. Because that means that means I don't need to grab the one in Victory Road. Grabbing Dragon Pulse wouldn't be a bad idea either, honestly. Um, I could also grab Stone Edge too. Ooh, dude, so many good things. Um, hmm, interesting, okay. Where am I? Oh, I have one Super Repel, Jesus. Okay, um, it's gonna be one of those, huh? Ow. It hurt, sorry. I was scratching my arm. Uh, do I need to stay up on this side? Use a super repel. Oh man, I fuck. Is there anything in this area that I need? No, it doesn't look like it. The things I need are on the second floor and I think the basement floor mainly. Do I want to 
fight you. I might not have a choice, honestly. Yeah, I don't know if I have a choice. I might have to. See, are you shitting me? Oh god. Why are you gonna subject me to this? Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking Blissey. Ugh. That's fine. You did no damage. special type move. <laughs> Dude, I'm just I'm just gonna fucking Should I keep going? Maybe. Maybe. Fuck it. I'm gonna six stack and just fucking sweep this person. for what this person has, though. That's the thing. That's the only reason why I'm gonna keep doing it. Fuck it. I should be able to... That should be able to drop me now. I'm like plus four. stacking that. I don't think I can one-shot this. Oh, would it be better to go into the rock here? Or go into Sligoo? I think the rock might be better. I mean, it's definitely using an electric move here. Thunder Wave? Really? Interesting. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot, actually. Yeah, I just remembered that. Special attacker. Oh my goodness, okay. sucks is if it uses a, like, explosion or self-destruct. I was gonna say, but I don't think it would because, I mean, it's... it has no reason to, right? That's so bad. Um... This thing, I think Laylee has Levitate. Um... Oh, fuck, what does it have? Does it have Levitate? Or does it have, like, Clear Body or something? Oh no. Um Oh shit. Um I'm gonna risk it. I don't know with it. I don't know what it has, that's the problem. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're pretty good, we're pretty good. Um I think what I do here, just in case, because I feel 
I feel like since it's lower, it may try to explode. So we're gonna switch here, and we're gonna tank this hit. Uh, that's perfect too, it used Crunch again for some reason. I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt it. Ice Beam, really? Well, I guess, yeah, special, yeah, it's gonna do more with that than it would Crunch. Okay, weird, I didn't think it would Crunch again. Alright, sure. That, I mean, that kills, more than likely. Yeah, especially with the Zap Plate on, yeah. Oh my god, I didn't, I completely misjudged that. I, I have a Magnezone, I should have known better. <laughs> Well, my thought process was just Earthquake it, and then it was, oh, that's right, Special Attacker. <laughs> just Max Potion everybody. I was going to full restore, but whatever. It didn't matter, it was just depending on which one, which one I was on. Okay. I hope this is the right way. I literally just... They did that a lot. I didn't even know that was there. Okay. Um, oh, no, man. Why are you going to do me like this? I don't know where the TMs are that I want, so I kind of have to do it this way. Yeah, I kind of just, I mean I, I mean, I can look at a thing and be like, oh, okay, this is where I need to go, but like, I don't have like a map or anything open. I fuck up? I fucked up, didn't I? God damn it. Be right back. I'm pretty sure I fucked up. Did I? Yeah, because that... Yeah, I, I fucked up. I fucked up. It's fine. forces you to fight him. God damn it. Are you fucking shitting me? An Emma Swine? Really? Fuck off. Um. I mean, he's gonna go for an ice move, right? So. <clears throat> I 
I swap into anything safely here? Uh, maybe. I mean, it's not gonna go for like Earthquake or anything. But I definitely outspeed it with Knight. But the question is, is it gonna kill Knight like outright? It's possible. Um, I think I play it safe, going to Sligoo. Because it's definitely going to use an ice move here. That's the only thing that's like super effective that it has. Unless the AI is dumb. Oh, Rock Slide. Okay, yeah, that too, that too, that too. That would not have been good to swap into uh, Knight on. Let's just surf it. Really? Blizzard, huh? Okay, interesting. I wasn't expecting it to have Blizzard, of all things. I figured it would have had, like, what? what is it, um, uh, the Icicle move or whatever. Wow, I one-shot it, too. Holy cow. Hmm. Alright, so what else do I have to worry about from this trainer? Oh, that's scary. That's a little scary. That's a little spooky. Uh, we're just gonna surf. Okay, we'll probably need to swap after this. That should be enough, honestly. special attacker or if it's a just an attacker? I don't know. So I'm just going to go into Polarity and Thunderbolt it. <laughs> that was the play. Gave you a fucking toxic my ass. Okay, get the fuck out of here, nerd. I don't play those games. Get the fuck out of here. So I was going to be like, I'm just going to go through all of fucking Victory Road on screen, but at this rate, no, that's going to take you long. We'll go for a few more minutes, and then I'll end, because... Don't get me wrong, I would like to, but... It just takes too long getting through. And I don't want to have, like, one more episode. I kind of want... Well, one more episode will be Elite Four. That's all there is to that. Oh, shit. Whoops. Sorry. I don't know if they got hurt anyway, so we're fine. Please don't attack me from all- Oh, it doesn't matter, I have to fight you. Okay, we'll do this fight, I guess, and then uh, end the episode, and then the next time y'all see me will more than likely be uh, Elite Four. Because I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna subject myself to another episode going through the Victory Road. I mean, I'll record it, just in case anything happens. But... Otherwise, no. They're, I don't see myself having any troubles in here, so... We're just gonna finish this fight, and we may go ahead and end the episode. The only, the only, that first fight, though, that was a little scary. I'm not even gonna lie on that. That was very close. We almost lost Gollum right away. Or, the, uh, the rock. And then follow that up by almost losing another Pokemon. We got pretty close. Well, we didn't lose it, but we I feel like we got fairly close to losing um, Sligo. I can, I can I can stay in on Long I think. Pretty sure I can since uh, Ice Fang. And Gyarados, I don't believe, is weak to... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think Gyarados is weak to Grass-type because of the flying. I could be wrong. I could have completely threw there and not realized it. <laughs> Either way, that's the end of the episode. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Next time, we'll be at the Elite Four. I promise. I may save the berry fight. If anything happens in it, cool. If not, it's not going to be in the video. And we'll just start with Aaron. <laughs> so, 
either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take it easy. <laughs> Bye.